Enduring beyond tomorrow are today's pressing concerns. The global environment, the country's urban infrastructure, and our manufacturing base. As society stockpiles its problems, the demand for knowledge, talent, and leadership grows. More than a challenge, it is a cause. True to its tradition, Illinois Institute of Technology reaches out, seeking answers, enlisting support, and finding solutions. I think our greatest contribution to this society and to this world are the graduates of the institution, uh, the students who go out and invent the technology and design the products and spaces and uh, counsel the enterprises of the future. And when you look at what's happening in the world today, what we do at IIT uh, is even more important. Uh, this program is funded in large part by... In education and in society, IIT strives to make a difference. Generating new ideas is the Center for Excellence in Polymer Science, developed with Amico Corporation. On the university's main campus, scientists have produced new recycling methods for used materials such as polyurethane. Discarded foam products that consume valuable landfill space can become useful once again through the use of this patented recycling system. Today's engineer, in order to succeed in industry, has to be certainly environmentally aware. And his function is to find least cost strategies to meet environmental regulations and laws to, to achieve environmental compliance. In fact, be ahead of legislation. At IIT, an exciting emphasis has taken hold. Quality, creativity, ethics, and leadership. It marks a new direction in higher education, giving students a broad framework for success and an independence of mind. If you're forced to go learn it on your own and go find the answers on, on your own, you better understand them and you can better make judgments and find solutions to problems later on. Well, I wonder what it would be like if you could have a series of transducers that could take signals from the environment and then couple that with a computer program that would simulate a basic perceptual system, maybe of a frog or a fly or some other organism, and then translate that three-dimensionally through virtual reality and you know, give it to a child, maybe. Not merely an embellishment, creativity is a primary focus at IIT. For some fascinating reason, the arts have somehow cornered the perception that, of, of creativity. I think the sciences are at least as creative in just a different way. Uh, I think Einstein was a pretty creative person. Nobel laureate and physics so, uh, professor Leon Letterman brings his own brand of creativity into the classroom. Here, the formula for effective teaching includes a measure of fun. And I'm not a bit worried. I do have a good dentist. <laughs> <laughs> for decades, the university's architects have made their mark upon the Chicago skyline and in cities around the world. It's a monumental record begun by Mies van der Rohe, who led architecture at IIT for more than 20 years. The 120-acre campus he designed stands today as a renowned landmark. There has never been a more critical time for IIT to apply its ingenuity and make a difference in society. With ITRI, IIT's Contract Research Institute, the university is a national supplier of timely innovation and each year conducts some $143 million of funded research. While ITRI has 19 locations across the U.S., its latest project takes root on IIT's main campus. From federal and state funding, in fact, the instrumented factory for gears was established with progress in mind, strengthening our nation's industrial base. If you want to stay competitive in uh, manufacturing, you have to keep current. You have to get the latest technology into your production facilities. What this factory can do is give a company a chance to come in here and play with the new technology before they make a huge investment, both in terms of buying it and in terms of shutting down their current processes. If American industry is to sharpen its competitive edge, then design must play a bigger role in the entire business process. With its progressive approach to problem solving, the university's Institute of Design has gained wide recognition. One of many ID award winners is the Superlight Air Cargo Transport, designed as a future alternative to overseas shipping. New ideas and new technology are essential to real progress. It's a theory IIT applies to its own educational system. At the downtown campus, classes at IIT's Chicago Kent College of Law are now equipped with computer network connections at each seat 
students use laptop PCs to download lecture material, take notes, and conduct research via KentNet, the school's local area network. An invaluable resource is the Library of International Relations, home to the world's most complete collection of United Nations material. Setting precedent, LIR and Chicago Kent are models for advanced computerization. Part three, substitute that expression for now the free metal that you know back into the mass balance for zinc. Today, modern industry requires a skilled workforce, scientists, and technologists with a high level of experience backed by specialized training. In suburban Wheaton, IIT has responded to the need for high-quality continuing education. The Daniel F. and Ada L. Rice campus is a practical enhancement to the Illinois high-tech corridor. We welcome the work we have done over the years with IIT. Uh, they have been a very progressive uh, deliverer of academic uh, services to industry. They are uh, in tune with industrial needs and they stay in tune by actively seeking us out and making sure that there's a continuous dialogue. Along with its engineering curriculum, the Rice campus offers an MBA program tailored to the working professional. A lot of the classes that I'm taking are directly related to the work that I'm doing currently at AT&T. I'm a manager for New Product Introductions, and the work that I'm doing here I can take and, and directly implement it where I'm working. You know, I'm a family man. I also have a full-time job, and I have several other things going on. So it's important that, that school understand who I am and respond to those needs. With a current placement rate of 90 percent, IIT graduates are in demand. The world's top organizations know where to look for tomorrow's leaders. I see some great people who have come out and uh, who, uh, as they mature in life, uh, seem to have the same ability to continue to learn that they learned at IIT. But at IIT, there's more to education than getting a job and getting ahead. The university's emphasis on ethics helps give students perspective on their careers. What kind of interests do I want to serve? What kind of contribution do I want to make? to society? Is this merely a job or do I think of myself as making a social contribution? These are all questions that people who are getting their professional education should be asking and should be guided in uh, reflecting about. I want to be an environmental engineer because I want to help the earth. I see that there are problems going on and I know that there's research going on at the school concerning that and I hope to become part of it. While providing an educational challenge for its students, IIT also serves the interests of the local community. As a responsible neighbor, the university has strengthened its ties, sharing its resources for positive change. Right behind me you can see the houses that have been developed, and clearly without IIT's involvement with the community, uh, this project would not have happened. The project? Chicago's first urban parade of homes. The development and sale of nine houses in the city's Gap community land owned by IIT. Since the parade, an additional 22 homes have been built, bringing outside investment of $3 million into the community. Today, the university remains involved. We see IIT participating in Douglas School. We see IIT participating in cleanups in the neighborhood. We see IIT offering its facilities to improve the education in the community, uh, which is the new community in IIT. Chicago's business community has also benefited from IIT's efforts. The nation's first master's program in financial markets and trading is a major draw at IIT's Stewart School of Business. The fm and program is very important because it provides the educational basis on which Chicago can stay at the intellectual forefront of the new and emerging financial technologies. Fifteen miles from Chicago, the university's National Center for Food Safety and Technology has embarked on a collaborative venture between industry, government, and academia. Scientists here are developing new methods to monitor pasteurizing systems within dairy plants. IIT provides the optimal environment for a joint effort of this nature. It's a unique uh, opportunity for us here at the center to uh, collaborate with IIT, the industry, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. It's new, it's different, it's something that's been needed for a long time. It'll provide us the opportunity to develop new products quicker and also new technology. When Philip Armour contributed a million dollars to establish this university in 1890, 
He did it to create an institution that would serve the local Chicago economy and to help students in the Chicago area. Over the course of the last hundred years, we have grown dramatically. We are now an institution that serves the world. IIT's acclaim as an action-oriented university is borne out by its valued role in an expanding arena. But the true measure of any academic institution is the quality of its students. The fruit of their effort lies beyond the breakthrough, in life improved. Sharing its educational mission, Illinois Institute of Technology reaches out, searching for solutions with progress in mind.